Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here, and we're gonna talk about Torx drivers. If you're a knife guy like I am, you probably collect Torx sets as well as knives just because uh, you're always, number one, ruining one or two commonly used bits. You can probably guess what this one is. Uh, I'll tell you in a couple of minutes, but if you'd like to guess now, feel free because it's probably the same size that everyone has broken. Uh, I've broken it in this one. I've broken it in this one. These are both sets from Canadian Tire. Now, um, Mastercraft gets this made somewhere overseas, and I'm sure I've seen other things that are sold as Mastercraft products at Canadian Tire that are sold under other brands uh, down in the US. So I don't know what this sells as in the US. In Canada, it's a Mastercraft product. Uh, it could be something else. Uh, then I also have uh, this little guy, and you guys probably recognize this. If you've ever bought a Boker knife, they often come with a little Torx driver in there. Uh, and I'm actually not sure why they do that because most of the time I would recommend you don't take Bokers apart because the tolerances are not well and good enough for you to be able to reliably put them back together. And I've had lots of strip screws and stuff like that on, on Bokers. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> back, the, back to the discussion at hand. I want to ask you guys this question. What Torx bit, uh, Torx drivers do you guys use? Uh, are you like me? Have you bought a bunch of these cheap sets and been, uh, disappointed over and over again? Or are you a little smarter maybe than I am? And did you go right away to something a little higher quality? Uh, first, let me just quickly, quickly give you a rundown on these two sets. These are not bad. I had this one for, I've had this one for quite a long time. That's why it's such a mess. And I've got a bottle of Loctite in there. And just, you know, I've kind of, this one just kind of is a catch all. Uh, this one is a little bit newer. Um, and I have a number of these. They, as I was, I think I was mentioning, but these go on sale at Canadian Tire. I think I just said they were from Canadian Tire. These are about 20 bucks for the set, but they'll go on sale for much less like ten dollars or something and when they do i'll often pick up a pick one up even if i don't need it i'll just buy one and kind of store it and so i end up with a lot of these but you notice that there's a silver bit here okay that's hold on i'll pull that out and show it to you there you go that's a t10 and it's because the t10 that was in here got ruined all right the other one that often gets ruined, this is probably, that's a seven. Where's the six? So here's the T6. And if you're like me, probably many of your T6 drivers, this one looks all right, but many of mine are twisted and messed up. So these are some locally available sets from Canadian Tire. There's another set here, and I think these are pretty widely available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Uh, this is one of the better budget sets. These are made in China. There's a bunch of them out there. My kids love this set because of the way it opens like this when you open the lid. Uh, I will say I actually like the little driver handle on here. And I'll tell you what I do with it in a second. I don't use it too often for this set. Although I've used this set before, uh, especially in a pincher. You know, I have this um, it, here at the office all the time. So, you know, if something, if a knife needs to be tightened or something, I'll use it. But I don't normally use it to take things fully apart. Uh, if I'm planning to take a knife fully down and do some modification or repair or cleaning or whatever, I will wait and use a different set. Uh, but these guys are not the worst ever, and they do come with quite a large number of options. So you can see how many come in here. And if you're going to use it like for one or two things, uh, then it's fine. By the way, I've also got the little, can't, you probably can't see it. I've got the little spanner tool in there I use to uh, mess with my hinder. I think that's the hinder one. I could be wrong. It might be at home in my drawer. Anyway, <clears throat> These are all decent sets, but eventually they're all going to fail. And so that's the que one of the questions I want for you guys. Do you guys, you know, take the approach? And I had a neighbor who took this approach. He bought, you know, Sears tools all the time. Craftsman was the brand name at Sears. And they weren't very good and they would break, but they had a lifetime warranty. So he didn't care. When they broke, he just got them repaired. Now, of course, there is the inconvenience of being in the middle of a job and having your wrench not work. Uh, most of the time, that's not the end of the world because pretty well every one of your neighbors is going to have a wrench as well. You can borrow one of theirs. Uh, not as likely with the Torx set, although if you're anything like me, you know, I've got three Torx sets here uh, and I've got a couple more to show you still. Uh, but 
that is one philosophy that you can take. I'll buy the cheap one uh, and either replace it or repair it when it breaks. And for certain things, I think that's an absolutely acceptable approach. At some point, you'll probably though, oh yeah, this one is gonna be a pain in the neck. There we go. At some point, you may want to change that pattern. And here's one of the ways you can do that. This is the Boker, I don't know what this is called. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below, but this is a little Boker torque set in the handle here. <clears throat> you have all your bits. I leave this one in my EDC bag because it's very small and compact and does most of what I need it to do. Uh, you can see though, Weeha soft finish. So uh, although this is branded as a Boker, it's actually made by Weeha. The bits are Weeha bits, which is definitely worth noticing. And by the way, let me say this, guys, you can notice right away. As soon as you, and I've done this many, many times, uh, as soon as you put this into a torque screw, you can feel the difference. You can feel the tighter tolerances. Uh, you can feel that it's a lot more solid and you have a lot more confidence taking that thing apart. Now here is the other, the fuller Weeha set. And this is where we were going with this video guys. And probably many of you knew that. I think I've talked about having this set before and I may have even showed it on, shown it on camera a time or two. There we go. Uh, metal case comes with a fair number of bits, not, you know, not a crazy number, but sufficient for just about everything that I have ever needed to do. Um, and the reason, one of the reasons anyway, that I'm making this video is these sets have come down in price. Like they were around 80 bucks when I first started looking and then they were 70 and then they were 60. And right now I think these guys are like 54 or $55, which is still expensive for what you're, you know, for a torque set. However, uh, I'm going to argue that it's worth every single dime, guys. I really am. Now, uh, there are, I will talk about this for a second. One thing I will point out is this set, if you go with this set, uh, I don't like the the way this feels in hand. I find it awkward to, to work with. I will often use these bits in one of the drivers, you know, the handle from this set or the other set that I showed you a minute ago. I find those those handles much more comfortable and I find uh, that I have more reach and it's just, you know, in terms of ergonomics, far superior. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the biggest weakness of the Boker here. Now the benefit is I think these go for around $30. I think in Canada, they're probably around 30 bucks. Uh, in the US, I'm sure that's uh, a little bit cheaper, maybe 25 or something like that. Uh, and of course, this guy is on Amazon as well for, uh, I think around $55, as I was saying. All right, so uh, you get a number of bits in here. I'm not gonna go through every single one. Uh, but I'll just kind of let you, you can pause and, and zoom in if you really, really want to, but it comes, the smallest one is going to be a T3 and it goes up to T15. Now it skips a couple along the way. So uh, here's, here's the thing guys, if you're taking apart knives with any kind of frequency, or if you're taking apart knives that are at all expensive, I think you owe it to yourself to own this set. All right. Because, you know, yeah, you could save yourself some money by buying the, the $15 set from Canadian Tire or your equivalent to it, Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever else. Uh, but that savings is not gonna mean much if you mess up your really expensive knife because you are using cheap bits. Now there are some other things as well that you wanna keep in mind if you're taking knives apart, but a good quality, good quality torque set is definitely one of the things that's worth considering. Now, let me kind of finish this little discussion, this little video by saying, who should buy which of these? And, and uh, let me know where you fit down in the comments below. All right, look, if you are the kind of person who doesn't take anything apart, it doesn't, you don't feel comfortable, you're nervous, uh, you're afraid you're gonna break it. Uh, yeah, buy one of these for the one, once a year that you're gonna use it. Uh, that's, that's probably fine. Okay. However, if you're someone who's a tinkerer and you're a little more like, you know, mechanically inclined and you like to take things apart and see how they work, or if something breaks, you're inclined to at least try to fix it yourself first. Uh, that's, that's kind of my default. I'll try it myself. And if I can't do it, or if I get in trouble, then I'll call for some help. Uh, <clears throat> If you're that kind of person at all, or if you have expensive knives, or if you have a lot of knives, or if you get knives in to sharpen or uh, or to you know repair or fix up a little bit, 
you definitely would benefit from the Weha set. And when it comes to that buy once, cry once philosophy, I think a lot of that same logic needs to be applied, okay? Uh, the the <clears throat> The wrenches that I have at my house, all right, are not the most expensive wrenches out there. I can't remember what brand they are, but maybe Stanley, okay? So uh, nothing special whatsoever. And for me, that's fine because, you know, I'm going to do a few oil changes a year and, you know, switch my tires out. Now, by the way, I do have a, a separate driver set and, and easy bar for changing the tires. Um, but... For me, and the amount of work that I do on my car, it doesn't make sense for me to go out and spend five or $10,000 on a full set of snap-on wrenches in a giant fancy toolbox. It just doesn't make any sense, okay? If you're a mechanic, well, then it probably makes total sense for you to do that. You know, the same was, is with your power drill. If you, you know, put a screw in the wall to hang a picture once every three years, then you probably don't need a DeWalt drill set. But if you're, you know, working on your house and if you're building projects in the backyard and if you're doing all kinds of stuff, well, yeah, then go out and spend the extra money and buy something better because it's going to pay you back in the long run. Okay, so in terms of buy once, cry once, it really doesn't apply to everything and it only applies within reason. All right, so I don't go and buy the most expensive car on the market and say, well, buy once, cry once. Uh, I don't go and buy the most expensive shoes and say, you know, buy once, cry once. I go and buy the thing that's going to serve my needs the best. Sometimes that thing is going to cost a little more money, okay? And it's really a matter of considering what is it that you need, okay? What are you trying to do here? And how often is this thing going to be used? Now, the only other consideration is this, all right? There are times where spending the extra money is a little more comfortable, a little more convenient, you'll get a little more performance. And if you are the kind of person who wants to have that in most of your, you know, most of your tools or most of the things that you use on a regular basis, well then go ahead. I mean, if you've got the money for that and you, and that's what brings you happiness, but I'll bet you even for that person who just feels like they want the best of everything, there are going to be limits because there have to be, right? The best of everything, you'd have to be a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. And usually those people are as wealthy as they are because they're very frugal. So they're only ever gonna buy the cheapest possible set, okay? So there you go, guys. Absolutely, I feel like this is the best uh, torque set out there, or at least one of the Weha sets. And I guess I should point out, there are actually a number of different Weha sets out there with different drivers and different bit sets that again, depending on what your needs are, you may want to pick a different one. This one is the cheapest one that I know of that uses the Weha bits. And what I would do, you know, buy this and this maybe. And then what you can do is put these bits in this handle and you're going to, uh, I think, feel a lot more comfortable. I know for me, that's definitely the way I use it. All right, guys. So there you go. That's my rant about buy once, cry once and about torque sets. Uh, absolutely feel like Weha is the best one. And I commonly get this question. So I thought I'd put a video out there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for the links down below. It does help the channel and we'll talk to you soon.